Okay, I'm back on to show how I'm going to decorate my glass table for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to start with a shamrock runner on my table. So I will put that down first. My table is long, 72 inches long, but I'm gonna start with that. This one's kind of an embroidered um, runner and I just kind of like it. I found at, um, I'm pretty sure it was Hobby Lobby and I will be showing these of what I did purchase. This is kind of a, um, the vine, like if you're doing a um, wreath, only they've made it into a shamrock. And so I took the colored side here with the little speckles and I'm gonna put that right in the middle, right here. Um, not real fancy on the um, placemats. I found these and I just thought they would be fun. So very, very inexpensive. This was another Hobby Lobby. I don't always shop at Hobby Lobby, but they had the 40% <laughs> off sale. And when they have that, I go ahead and get certain little things because I'm always for having a sale price. So it's pretty even in the table. Okay, next I have, um, I found um, actually, this was kind of a find in a thrift store. But I just lost some of the coins on the floor. <laughs> to pick those up right quick so my doggie doesn't get those. Um, that I found the cute little hat. And so I'm going to put the hat um, right here in the middle. That's showing the hat. And then um, I found this little glittery thing that is shaped for the um, um, shamrock. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back here by the hat on one side. I had this out um, the other day to make sure that I had. And it's bendable, so you can put it any way you want to. And I just kind of had it sticking at the back of the hat. And that part I kind of liked. And then I found, I said, I, I don't go out and buy everything brand new, but I did find a sack of just assorted um, flowers. And, but they happen to be of the color that I wanted. So, you know, I'm just gonna stick these anywhere in the hat and around to give that some more color. We'll keep working with those. And then I have in my little bag of tricks, I always have certain little things in here that I save out. So the next I found were these little guys. And again, they're just for table decorations. I didn't pay hardly anything for these. These were another um, Hobby Lobby, I believe. So I'm going to put those on each side of the hat. Then I found hats that were St. Patrick's Day, little cute little hats that we can set on the end. They have a little, I didn't take it off, they have a little clip here that you can put on hats or whatever, but I'm not gonna take that off. I'm just gonna set them on each side of the table to have on that. And then I did, these came individually, so I put them together, the little pot of gold. So it's the little plastic pot, and then inside the pot, are little hats, the shamrock, a little gold piece, and this of the shamrock that this is gonna go at the top of everybody's place setting here. It's gonna go at the top. And then I have, get out more of my little, I have to get out some dishes and things here out of my, while before I begin. So because this had gold, not silver, 
in everything, I decided to go with the gold charger plates. So I found those and I'm just gonna stick those on each side like so down my table. And I haven't decided yet. I have these nice, uh, these came from um, Pier 1 and I've had them forever. But because they are green, I thought I would go ahead and put those on the table today. And then on top of that, then I found the dark green of the napkins. I bought these little guys and stuck on here with some piping and the shamrock and that's going to be, I folded over the edge of the napkin and that's going to be the napkin for each plate. So I'll go ahead and put these where they belong right quick. It's so much fun to decorate on any holiday, but especially if you have cute little things to work with and pick them up along the way. You don't have to go out and buy all this brand new. You know, you see something sometime and you say, yeah, I wanna, I wanna do that. I wanna have um, that for Easter or this for, you know, whatever. And that's what you do. You just kind of pick it up along the way. I said, these are my little things that'll be at each person's table of the little pot of gold. It's going to sit over here. These were real pretty. Um, it came in a long vine uh, of these. Um, and I cut each one of these. Some of them have uh, shamrocks and uh, that are already on them. You know, they have little shamrocks. And I just kind of placed those underneath all of this to give it kind of some color in here. Just here and there, wherever you want to stick them. These are always fun to decorate a table all the way down. Now I'm not putting candles on my table. I'm just doing the little centerpiece here. You can stick it under the hat and make sure it goes all the way down. All the way around your table. These were fun to have because they had the shamrocks on them. I also did my light. Let's see if I can show that right quick here. I did my light up here also and put them up in my light so that you could see. They're up in there. <laughs> They're all over. The leprechaun has all his mini tricks of things all over the place. So again, you're just going to stick these wherever you think it needs to be. The back side. Keep in mind you want enough room on your table to put your dishes of food. Yes, you do. And if you get it way too cluttered with decorations, then you're not going to have enough for your, your meal. Again, we're just gonna kind of stick these wherever in here. And then I had pick these out too here. Another pot of gold over here for this little guy. And another little pot of gold. That would be down here. Plate down here. Then I found these were hard to find. I actually did go thrifting on this. And I found these nice. You know how pretty green they are on the bottom of the goblets? And I just kind of liked them. So I'm going to be putting that on the table for the green. Where everything is green, green, green. Different shades of green. Green has always been one of my favorite colors. It really has. I, I like green. And uh, Anytime you find the Mardi Gras of the beads, 
you know that's always fun you can you can drape those across the hat if you want to and and again I had some of these left over that I just kind of would stick anywhere on the table and of course the pot of gold of the money that always comes in a nice sack gathering it here because I didn't have it in a bag I just have it loose in my box and that's fun to stick anywhere I mean you can put that on the hat also maybe some up here that you want to show money you can you can stick it just anywhere on the table these are very shiny and so they'll go anywhere anywhere on the table that you want some color just stick them anywhere yeah. it's your pot of gold of money 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 stick it in here and if i wanted to add more flowers i certainly could anywhere on here we could add some more flowers in here i like these these were already cut and ready to go i didn't have to mess with them at all usually when you buy it then you have to come home and get out your clippers and make sure that they're all clipped and ready to go now if you wanted fresh flowers if you wanted to and they had actually some dyed um, um, carnations at the grocery store. You certainly could put that in here and have that for your table also. So that's the beginning of my St. Patrick's Day. I'll get a little closer here so that you can see it up close that this is the plates, the chargers, the things that I've put around. Really, really simple little ideas that make for St. Patrick's Day. And I think my guests will like it. I really do. So I'll catch you in a few because I've got to get the soda bread out of the oven now.